Hey tubers, so I'm out in the forest um, down in City, uh, City Creek Memorial Grove Park um, and I was just meditating. I did a quick tour of the park and different places that I found in the last video and I was thinking about some things I wanted to talk about um, and I thought I'd do a vlog about my daily practice. Um, not necessarily the extra things I do, but the bare minimum, what I do every single day. And I'd like to hear what kind of things you do um, with your practice, um, things that you do every day. Sorry, I am so distracted. There is the most beautiful blue, I mean royal blue dragonfly. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm sorry. I, Charming Pixie Flora, I suffer from from oh shiny as well. Um, I am so distracted right now. It is so beautiful outside. So I thought I'd do a vlog about my daily practice. And what I do daily is every morning I wake up, I take a shower. While I'm in the shower, um, I do a little spell, meditation, prayer, whatever you want to consider it. And I just think about the day not going as planned, but being grounded in the day and being grounded in the here and now and I say to myself I am going to take every opportunity and take everything that comes to me and make it the best that I can can make it um, and then if I if I've chosen to put my pentacle on my altar that night as I often do um, sometimes I sleep in it um, I will take my pentacle after I've gotten out of the shower and dried off. And it's the first thing that goes on my body. And if I take it off, it's the last thing that comes off at night. Um, and generally when I put it on, in my mind I think to myself um, that kind of taking on this symbol, a symbol of my faith, a, a, a reminder of what I do and what I believe and who I am. And also, um, again, another sprayer, uh, spell or meditation, a sprayer. Um, there we go. There's a spell and a prayer all in one. Um, that the goddess will bless me and be with me and help me to see the things that I don't often see and to heighten my perception for the beauty around me, which in this place I need no help with. It is so beautiful out here, guys. I mean, I... I wish you could see it in person. It's just gorgeous. The, the natural spring and the trees and it's been so long since I've been out in a place like this and I think that we lose, if we haven't been out in nature, we lose a sense of what nature is and what and how beautiful and what it is we come from and you know I really do feel that out in this kind of place you see the goddess. You, you see her face and you partake of the body, I, you know, dipping your feet in the river, and, and I feel that, you know, Christians have their communion, and, and we have nature. Um, but back to my daily practice, so I put on my pentacle, and then, again, if I have time, I'll sit at my altar space and reflect on what's ahead for the day, and ground myself, and kind of put on my, my shield for the day. Um, I don't know if any of you practice shielding, but I do. I take the bus, I take public transport hours at a time. If you've watched any of my last videos, um, I talk a little bit about it in one of my videos. And there's a lot of crazy people who take public transportation. And oftentimes, you know, I used to be one of those people that people would talk to because I guess I look like a nice person. And I am a nice person, and I do enjoy talking to people and meeting people. But sometimes I just want to be left alone with my own thoughts. And in the past, there's been some people who have talked to me or who have somehow associated themselves with me who are not the best people. Um, there was a story one time of a guy talking about how he had just got out from jail and talking about that he had killed a man and telling me all this. And I didn't want to be a part of that. So I ground and center and shield myself. And not from anything dangerous. I don't think anyone has any ill intentions. But if they did, I, you know, I definitely... Um, want to be open to that, but just not really repelling energy, but I don't want to talk to you, um, and sort of a nice, 
you know, I kind of think of my shield as being an, an unconscious, inverbal thank you, but no thank you. Um, so I do that every morning, and I have noticed a huge difference. I mean, like I said, I used to be someone that people talked to all the time, and it was uncomfortable. It was very uncomfortable for me. And I think now that um, now that I, I shield myself and I've been practicing that, I move much smoother through my day. Um, people who want to talk, I let talk, that's fine. But other than that, you know, I, I move a lot smoother through my day. At night before I go to bed, I reflect on the day and the lessons learned and things that I can take from that day. And usually I'll journal them. Um, oftentimes it's lessons in dance, things that I discovered about my own body or about moving and expression. Um, other times it's simple things, you know, like I'll, I'll journal about the wonderful experience I'm having today just walking through nature. Um, and I do that for my own good and to keep record of, of things that I've learned and to try and heighten my perception of things that are good. And I recommend that to anyone. If you're having a hard time finding the good things about your life, I recommend that you start writing them down. Even if you feel like you can only write one or two things down, you're heightening your perception. You are on the prowl for the good. And you start to kind of ignore the bad. The bad happens. It always will. But you start to appreciate the good more and lose sight of the things that don't matter. So I just thought I'd do a quick quick little blog while I'm out here in the in nature and, and just having a wonderful time. I wish you all could be here. It is so beautiful. Bye.